Here we are on Cold Springs Road, Township, I think it's 304. Access right to the Township Road. Have to look into whether we need a permit or not for access. These rocks block the landing. The landing area which has been used before. It's been graveled. It's got number one limestone. Goes all the way up to that poplar where Dr. Brantley is. Have to be cleared out a little bit, but loggers can take care of that pretty quick. So this is our landing area. So the, uh, again, walking on the landing. This would be our main skid road right here. There's Dr. Brantley waving high. So we're approaching a uh, feeder stream to the east branch of the Antietam. This is your GP8, General Permit 8 stream crossing right here. So we'll take some measurements on that. All right, we'll give you some measurements. Dr. Brantley has informed me that my voice didn't sound very fun today. So how's this? Is that better? There we go. I am a happy camper, but just I wanted to be very scientific about this. All right, so our length across the stream was 27 feet and a clearance of about one and a half feet. Not very much. So this would be a perfect spot for, a, I think, a temporary bridge. All right, again, just uh, stopped at the stream, took some measurements. Now I'm going up the main skid road. So this is an uh, operation where we'll probably be doing a thinning. Uh, a salvage cut had been done to the left over in this area. We are crossing a utility line right here. Slopes are very minimal, maybe 2-3% right here. So this is a single track. And then we're going to have a, a circle. So we've, this road was used before by Glattfelter. They did a salvage operation going up here to the left side. So this is a fork where the circle comes, uh, let's see, the main skid road goes up the hill. Here's a water bar right in this area. And then it circles around and we can come down the hill this way and end up back down here at the stream for our stream crossing. So we'll figure out the acreage and give you some slope information. So I'm coming up the left side of the trail. This is about a 4% slope right here. The operating area will be in this region. Uh, older clear cut probably in the 60s. There are some little bit older remnant trees, but this will be kind of a thinning improvement thinning. There's some existing skid trails going through the stand. Well, this would be a good operating area to do some improvement thinning. So we'll continue up the road here, skid road, and we'll get some more slopes. This is a look into where Glattfelter had done a salvage operation, removing a lot of hemlock and poor quality trees. And look at all that white pine coming in. Except our area is going to be up here, it'll be an improvement <laughs> salvage operation here. Again, looking up the main skid road, we'll continue. I've been getting some slope measurements for you. What was that last? What was this slope? Six percent. Six percent slope right here. Fifty feet. For about a fifty-foot stretch. 
Here's the stand again we're going to operate in. Not very big. Now it starts to level out a little bit. Got some of the evil Angelica over here, looks like. Well, we'll continue. So this would be a good location along this to, after retiring it, put some water bars in. It was originally, Glattfeller did seed it in down in the lower stretches. Looks like we've got a little four-wheeler action here. Again, another look at the stand. Here's a water bar that Glattfelter put in. Looks like it's been worn down a little bit by the four wheelers. This is an old small landing area when students harvested this in the, I believe in the 70s. Another water bar, so it's just a series of water bars, and the water bars have to be spaced depending on the slope. Looks like a charcoal flat right here. So this whole area had been Oh, what's this species? Hmm. A little dendro quiz. I just put in waypoint eight, and this is a 3% slope on that section looking down the hill to Dr. Brantley. Now I'm looking back up the hill, and it'll curve around here a little bit to the left and then it's going to circle all the way around. Just put in waypoint 9, looking up the trail again and looking at an old skid trail in here to the right that we can use. Right along this row of uh, pine trees right in here. Coming to the top of the trail, then I have a hard right hand turn. And now we're looking east. I'll put in waypoint 12 here. Series of other trails looking back. That goes back to uh, Newman Road and back to our equipment shed. And then this is down the primary skid trail that we just came up. Now we're turning right. All right, it's still at the top of the stand along the skid road that we can use. And then I'll sleep downhill. And then we'll turn down the hill toward the south. And this will be our, probably the steeper side. This will be our other skid road and I'll take a waypoint. I just walked about 400 feet down the east side of the stand on the main skid road, and we'll give you a slope here. Dr. Brantley's up there coming down and looking into the stand. And then looking down what will be our main skid road on the east side of the stand. So that slope I just said, 400 feet from the top coming down the east side, that was about a 5% slope. So I'm at waypoint 18. Dr. Brantley's aiming at me. Now if you're using that clinometer, if you were here, you'd aim it where her eye, you're going to aim right at my eye, so you get a, a correct slope. 11. 11%. Okay. I just did point, uh, I think it's 18, 18 or 19. That was a, what was the slope? 10%. 10 slope. And then 
we're approaching the bottom and it gets a little bit steeper here so I have to put some water bars closer together yeah that last point I just did where I said it was a 10% slope it was from uh, waypoint 18 to 19 all right so I'm at point 21 dr. Bailey's at point 20 10% and this is the last stretch back to the point where I started and said that's where the fork is for the uh, skid road. So that's our stand. Yeah, I just heard a turkey. Nice. All right, so I'm back at the beginning. Looking down the trail to where the bridge will be and I have a total distance of 0.7 miles we just walked it's 12.26 acres and the let's see the minimum elevation was 1442 and the top elevation was 1622 so a total of 200 foot I'm sorry a total sent uh, 170 feet up 199 down so again, 0.7 mile perimeter and 12.26 acres. Back at the landing area. Again, there's the, the creek. I think the landing area can start right about this poplar right here. And this will get cleared out. Uh, we will not need a haul road because the trucks can pull right in here on the landing. We'll have to look into whether we need a culvert or not, but I don't, that felter never put one here at the end. You'll have to see what the BMP is for going out onto a public road. I won't tell you that one. I'll leave that up to you. So good luck, everyone. Hopefully I've given you enough information to get you started. Bye. Uh, let's see, one more thing. I forgot to give you the coordinates. So I'm at the middle of the landing and the coordinates are north 39.83788, west 77, that'd be negative, negative 77.45235. I'll repeat that. North 39. 0.83792 and 77.45235. Bye bye.